Welcome to Dyson Fair Program. My name is Nidos and we are up here at episode 25 and we le we're starting off pretty much where we left off last time. We are here on the Gareth planet and we have just at the end of the last episode, we built this array here that makes 12 rockets per second. And now it's time for us to show what it's going to take to do that because I want to do it in a different way than usual. Usually I would build sort of from the ground up and then by the time I get to the end, then I don't have the right numbers. So I'm going to do it the other way around and I'm going to constrain it to this planet. So I want the whole infrastructure to build these rockets on this planet. And I should very much say this is recorded before the introduction of blueprints and it will highlight why we really need blueprints. So this is like the last fight before the blueprints and that will make me and hopefully also you enjoy blueprints so much more when they get here. So this is just one of those things where right before you do, you get a massive improvement. You just grind your way so that when you get that improvement, you really, you really enjoy it. So we are going to start making the stuff. So this is 12 per second and I need to just look at Let's just look at this one and say, I need now, if it's 12 per second, then it's 24 of the Dyson Sphere components. It's 48 deuterium fuel and it's 24 quantum chips. That's a lot. We're going to start on the Dyson Sphere components and that's going to be the one, the branch that we're going to be working down on today. And that will mean, hmm. How much do I want it? I think I only want two of these, right? I'm going to be building two of these builds here. Yeah. So I could make the three, but then this, if I don't make too big, but I have a plan for this build. That will be something we're going to be very much repeating. So as you can see, I have filled up a bit more than usual on my equipment here because I know that I, we're going to be building big and beautiful and awesome here. So that is it there. Mm. What is it we want to do? So this one will be making the Dyson Sphere components and it's three of each, that's insane, right? And it's eight seconds. So let's start figuring out, I need 24. So I need two arrays that each make 12. If this one is supposed to make 12, how many do I want? I think I would want, hmm, okay, this is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's eight. So this is one per second. It's one and a half because of the crafting speed. And one, two, no, actually it's easier to do this one. There. So what I have now is 16 in a row. 16 in a row gives me three per second. Oh, and then I just need four rows. Perfect, easy peasy. I will do that right here. So I will do one of these, okay. Dyson Sphere Components. And then the sub ingredients for the Dyson Sphere components, what were those? They are frame materials and it is, I can't remember the last one. Ah, processors, yes, indeed. And what is really important here, these ones scale up, of course, I am going to provide this only provided local because I only want it to be accessible from here. I don't want any other location picking up. I want this one to be demanding it. I want it demanded from remote. I'm not going to set that up yet because then I think I'm going to get it, but it's going to be demanding remote because I have it on another planet in the solar system, but I'm not going to add warpers to this. This one will be only locally demanding. This will be locally demanding. And that will be how we, uh, we set this up. I can't set this one up because then it's going to start work, uh, getting there in, in there, but it's just, um, actually I, I do want to do that. So we're kind of cautious about it. Right, so let's build this here. At this point, I'm going to take, well, it doesn't really matter what I take. I just take one of them and drag it down there. And then this is gonna be the return line. Good, and I, here. And then I need the other two here on the other side. That will be that one and processors in this location get one more that will be and I want this to be a really consistent pattern that's it <clears throat> sorry I will take here that nope, not that one 
all the way to the end. And the other one will also be... Yeah. Doesn't matter that these two are actually not the same way as the, the previous one. And then what is really important though is that the close one, the one further to the south, is the return. Yeah, and then unfortunately we're gonna still have to get this one on the outside. On the back row, I don't like having them on the back row, but I don't think there's much of a choice. That is the design. Now the design for the top and the, the first and the third are the same. And therefore we can do in, 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 in. And for this one, it'll be in, out, in, out. And then I can take that, go here, this one go here, and then go back. And that gets all of the things done. Now all I need is this one and here. Whoa, not quite there though. There we go. It was missing something. And I want one more of those. First, let's do a few power poles on this. They will be here and here. And that's going to be one build. And this is where blueprints would be absolutely amazing. Because then I can just do copy and paste. But that's not an option. Maybe by the time you uh, watch this, they will be already there. And then you can just go, wow, that's awesome. So much easier now. Good, that works. Oh, and I do need a single one over here. A single power pole. We'll put that here and then that's good. So I need to replicate this is 12 per second and I need to replicate it here as well. I'm going to skip that for now and then move on to the next one. Really am I skipping it? Well, yeah, screw it. I'll just, uh, I'll just build this one. And with that built, we are ready to move on to the next build. That next build will be uh, a subcomponent that will be the frame material. So that will be pretty much the same as I recall it if I look at it and here I also just want two inside of this location even though it is bigger than I think I want to do it like this so let's see frame material first thing I need to figure out I need 24 of these and I need three times as many so I need 72 of 72 making frame materials. That's kind of a lot. Frame material, what do you need? You need uh, carbon nanotubes, lots of carbon nanotubes, and some titanium alloy and some silicon. Can I remember that? Lots of that. Titanium alloy and some silicon. Thank you for the efficiency. Efficiency, efficiency gain. Now the thing is, like, this actually could be pretty much the same as the one above, couldn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the, the case because it's three inputs. And although one of them is slightly higher quantity, then I don't think it's actually going to be a bit of a problem. I just need to figure out how many I'd want here and how many builds I want. Well, the thing is, like, let's start by looking at it the other way around. So I need, I have, this takes six seconds and I have six seconds and I need 72 times six that's 200 uh, 432 then I divide by the crafting speed then it's 288 so I need 288 let's do that on four builds that means I need 72 for each build and four builds and each build would then be 18 deep did that make any sense no that's gonna be 15 16 17 18 oh perfect right so let's build this set up and then we can talk a bit about how I got those numbers here that one and I'll take one out here return see what you can see now is that this is exactly the same as the one above except different <laughs> yeah it's the same pattern. It's uh, one of my standard patterns and that's the beauty of it. It's always the standard patterns. That means we could also do this one with, uh, let's see, here, with blueprints. When we get those, then we can have like a standard blueprint that we can cu cut when we, or copy, by, copy down or paste down when we can see that a pattern looks very much like something we've seen before. 
And then it's going to be that one because it's the one to the south. That will be the return one here. And the return goes in there. And the easiest thing to do is to do... There, so now that all of that is done, I just switch the recipes back, but I keep all of these here. That's one. Let's make sure we get all the way down here and get that sorted. Yep. Next. And then I forgot that this should have been done first. There. And then we just need the power pools. As you can see, things are just progressing really quick, even without blueprints. But still, blueprints would be nice because we have just also determined that we need four of these builds. And that's just repeating the same thing four times. Not super enjoyable, but we'll still do it anyway. And there. All right. So again, we're going to look at what this is only going to be local supply this one is going to be a problem right this is going to be a problem it's definitely going to request it global because i don't have anywhere that i can make carbon nanotubes anywhere close and this will be local demand not global and this one will be a remote demand there but that'll be from somewhere else i don't exactly know where this one I'll set it to remote and probably regret it. Nope, no regrets. No regrets. Yes. Also, don't have these yet. But if I put those in, uh, put, in, then it would start working. Uh, power is not available on this. Cool. So what I need is to basically take one, two, three, four locations. That is just a bit of things I need to set up. So let me set that up and then we come back with all of those operational. Okay, so that is one more thing we have done now. I just uh, do this one off camera. Hope you don't mind. It's uh, yeah. So uh, what I've also done is I've hooked these up so that they get stuff inbound and we can then, then it becomes more clear what are the things that we do not have. And that is obviously titanium alloy. So if I get titanium alloy, I can actually make all of the frame materials. That's pretty neat. So let's uh, see if we can find a way to, or somehow to make the frame the titanium alloy. Let's uh, have a look first at the frame material. The frame material for each one frame material, I need one titanium alloy. And since the ti I need 72, then I also need 72 titanium alloy. And although I need more titanium alloy for other things, then I only need it here for this specific thing. So again, I am going to do two builds. I know that we can do three, but two builds, that's kind of what I've decided to do here. Let's see, that means, hmm, what was it, titanium alloy? And that means it's titanium, it is steel, and it is sulfuric acid. If only we had like sulfuric acid somewhere nearby. Oh, wait a minute, we actually have it on this planet. And this one will only be providing it local. These ones will be, I don't know, we'll take it like this, and like this, and like this, right? They will be requesting it remotely, but not from outside of the solar system. And I have also, as you can see, I've brought in some plane smelters twice as fast. They are being built back, uh, back at my home base. And they'll just make things a lot easier. I hope at least that's the intention of making things easier. And we will then figure out. So what is it? We need 72 of those. And if I look at the crafting speed, so we can just get a sense of how many we need in absolute total. I need... Where is it anyway? The fact that this is different from the other one just confuses me. So this is basically looking at, it might be different numbers, but it's actually one every three seconds. So it's one every three seconds. That means calculation wise, I am going to say I need 72 times three. That's as many as I need, but the plane, that's 216, but the planes, melters are actually at speed two, so I just divide by two. Then I need 108, that's an awful number. What can we do about that? If I want two builds, that means 56 in each, that means three rows of 18. So if I do three rows of 18, then I should be good. Let's see if we can make, make that happen. One, plane smelter, looking cool, there. 
And the one thing we have to be mindful of is how deep can we make it and still consume, still not over consume a belt of sulfuric acid because that's faster. So this is two every three seconds. That's how much it consumes. So if I have one, two, three, four, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 divided by three, that's six times two, that's 12. So this is only consuming 12 per second. That's not much. Huh. That's not much actually. That means I can actually have two sides still consuming from this belt. Okay, excellent. Let me uh, get this out here then. Or is it? One of these is consuming one per three seconds. So, damn. I'm, I'm getting confused here. Uh, I think I have to do something like sulfuric acid here. If this is only 12, then I don't have a problem. This consumes, oh, two every third second and then plain smooth times two. So it's four every three seconds. So this two of these can consume more than one belt. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. And let me see. I'll take this one out. And you can go down there. And I'll get the other one here. And then this is a return. And then I have to get an extra sulfuric acid line in out here. That will be on this line in order for me to get this up here. And then the two, let's call them other inputs. That one, too far out. And the second other input. Oh, this doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good though feels really oh no it's actually good steel steel goes here and go all the way down there cool because it only has to be three lanes not four lanes that's the part i was just worrying about four lanes is would be a bit annoying so this would be i have to do some dedicated builds okay i just take the sulfuric acid here this is definitely not a standard design and return Ah, interesting that uses exactly 10. Now we have another issue, and that issue is definitely going to be about power poles. So I... Th yeah, you can't play, play... I knew that. There. So I think the answer is... One. And then... That's... Just a bit longer. Out here. Return. Funny how I'm not testing whether they work, but just assuming that they work. These designs are pretty standardized, so they should work. Even though I've never built this specifically before. And yeah, let's let's build this. So we get the numbers and now I need to figure out. I will need to figure this out manually. This is inbound, outbound. This is inbound, 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 inbound. Inbound, inbound. I guess that's pretty simple. Oops. Funny how those patterns sometimes overlap. That was one. Just one tap. And this one, oops, this one. One tap. That's actually pretty good. Now I just need some power poles and they, they will be paid at least 
quite quite default in the middle like this. It feels very old school to build them in between. Old school as in start of the episode or start of the, the build here. And I'm just gonna squeeze one in there. Can I go closer? Sure. Okay, that's one, except for the fact that I've forgotten one here. It, I don't like that it's always nighttime on my planets. There, inputs, inputs. Let's put some inputs in here. And that will be, I will not do that local, I'll do it remote. I'll not do it local, I'll do it remote. I'll not do it local, I'll do it, no, 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 no. This one will actually be local, but I don't have it. Yes. Take that out and put it in there. I'm going to build that one. And what I'm also going to do is hook up all of the sulfuric acid because there is a lot. I don't know if I'm going to put this because I want to maybe expand to that location. But here's something. Here's something. Um, there's more or something. There's also, is that it? Yeah, there's a bit left. So that will, uh, that will be tapped and then we'll get the last one so we can see these are operational. And so we have built some sulfuric acid ocean mining. It's not really an ocean, it's more of a lake. And I think we have another, we have another one here and there's a third one as well. I can see that someone has uh, put these ghostly things here and not really uh, placed them correctly. There you go. And here's a small pond as well. So we are working on getting as much as we possibly can. But as that happens, we are going to, we have run out of another thing that is not a big surprise that we've run out of at least maybe maybe a bit but not really here are these beautiful plane smelters thing they're working but the steel is just it's not super great in inbound for some reason this one's getting all of it and this one's getting none of it i have no idea that's just how it, that's just how the cookie crumbles but the good thing is we do have some titanium alloys titanium alloys are being used 72 titanium alloys are being thrown in here and then we can also get some carbon nanotubes that we also know we are running out of definitely cannot keep up with this mega base build we are starting on and but we do have some here and that goes into the stars here and then it's the processes we're missing now i still have a bit of a time left so i want to go do you think this is a crazy build maybe you don't maybe you do but let's just let's just take it up a notch right let's take it up a notch so what what about processors well if i have if i need 24 of these then i need 72 processors as well okay but it gets more fun than that because if this one is 12 rockets then it's 24 quantum chips each quantum chip is two processors so that's another 48 processors so 72 plus 48 is 120 processors so let's just stamp down 120 processor build because of course that's what we'd want to do can I, have i mentioned how much i want blueprint to just be here right now because 120 processors yeah yeah that's a lot that's a lot <laughs> that is kind of a lot so let's uh let's see if we can find a way to make that happen and we are just gonna get us some sell some space. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. That should be the next intersection. Let me just check up here. It looks correct. Looks correct. Maybe it is. So this is gonna be the next area that we need to reserve for some processor build. Now in this case, I do think I want oh there's a bit of sulfuric acid pond. Not even a lake, just a little pond. There. All right, that's all good. But I do think that I need... Here, I definitely need to make three of these. So I'm going to get this a bit closer because I need a lot. So one, two, and three. This will do processor build. Let's see if we can remember how to do the processor build. It's pretty simple but it's also pretty good. So it's gonna be that one and that one and, oh, is that it? Nope, not, oh yeah, it was, uh, yes, because this requires the crystalline thing. The crystalline is only used for one thing. That's the only thing this one is used for, uh, no. So definitely not making it another place here. That is two plus one, so that means what I'm going to need is I need four. 
uh, to feed all of this. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Let's get on with it. How is that working? Well, I remember it already. So I do remember that it's something like this. This will be our crystalline. What is it actually called? Micro crystalline component. Yes. That one. One, two, three, four. And. This one. And copper. And another one of these because this is consumed at twice the ratio. Then I will on this side get Okay, I'm just assuming that's as far as I want it. And I'm gonna get some more. They'll be right in the intersections, two and three, and they will be now the processors. Why this off putting thing here? Well, first of all, if we look at this, there are this is a three second cycle, so these three make sense. That means now we can calculate it as if it's on a one second cycle. So three of these, three of the processors, every second I really require two. So these here, this one, will produce one every two seconds. We're just gonna assume crafting speed one, so it's one every two seconds. Two this will create two per second, and this one will these three will require three they'll require two per second as well. So these three these four of microcrystalline components will go into three processor builds. Wow. It's making sure I'm trying my best to remember the names and also say instead of this one and that one. So I hope that is appreciated. But sometimes it's a bit difficult with stuff like the microcrystalline component. That's something you use once every game and and it's only used for one build. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, one, two, and three. I will get the output. Yeah. And then the next thing is how how do we know how deep this has to go? Well, the constraint will be the consumption here or here. The consumption of one copper belt and two silicon belts is going to be the same. So let's just do it from the silicon belt with this one. This is going to take one silicon per second and then it's crafting speed 1.5, so one silicon per second. That's one and a half silicon per second. So if I have 20 deep, then uh, that's all I can do. That's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So with the 20 deep and they consume one per second craft times the crafting speed, then this is a full belt being consumed of everything, every ingredient inbound. That means I'm consuming full belts all the way. Full belt of silicon, two full belts of silicon, one full belt of uh, of copper, and two full belts of here green circuits. There. So that's the sizing of it, and then we'll figure out how big this is going to be. First, we'll actually we can now say that this will be three here and three here and three here that's a better way of building it obviously but this is just for calculation so it's gonna be one two three four five per second times two because it's two side that's ten per second this one will make 15 and I just need 120 so I just need to make eight of these builds let's make one of them and then just uh, fast forward to to that so inbound 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 That one goes here. So now this is the perfect example. Out, out. It's a bit convoluted to do this. Right, so what I need to do here is, nope, I have to take that one, that's the high qu highest quality build here. There. Alright, and this one. Uh, 
And now I can take the middle one here, which is, again, also the best. And I just drag it all the way down. That one should also be good. Drag it all the way down. Drag it all the way down and drag it even more down. There we go. And I will then more easily be able to take out these parts. It's easy to do that. Oops. I don't know what I did. Probably something important. Got lost. Nope. Yeah. And we get some power poles. Should be easy as well. They're going to be right in the middle here. Easily room for it. Could also use the big ones in, in that open space. So this is a good... It's just the best process of uh, build that I've come up with so far. It's not that difficult to make. It just Once you build the first one, it's good. And when you have bl blueprints, then it's going to be even better. Because it'll be much easier to set up. I put that one in the back. And that will now be... I don't have a local because I'll have it on another planet. I don't have a local, but I'll have it on another planet. I don't have this. Oh, I'm going to have this one local. But, uh, yeah. And this one will only provide it local. That one, that one. Inbound, inbound. Sweet. Some of these things are still made, like a bit of copper, but silicon is not doing so hot. And now what? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, I'm not going to be putting it on this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 7, 8. Cool. Oops. Let me build that, and then we can uh, take a look at the final build, the 120. And all it needs, all it takes is a simple wish. And here we are. We have uh, wished our way for you. It is a simple wish for me. It is hours of, uh, of grinding without, uh, without blueprints. Thank you, repetitive stress injuries. Thank you, that was just what I needed. But it's all for the glory of 120 processors per second. It does have a few little gap gaps here, and the gap is the fact that I don't have a lot of these. Well, I do actually have a few of these. They are needed for the photon combiners on one of the other planets, so we need to make a dedicated build here. But now I think that what we've done is pretty uh, noticeable step forward we still have absolutely no high purity silicon so one of the next things i want to do is i want to set up a dedicated smelting a dedicated mining plant dedicated smelting plants and that means we're going to be doing some new smelting designs with the plane smelters which will be super super compact and this will uh, this is now almost working we we'll continue to work on this one unfortunately these are not working because we're not making it but once you get the processes we can get the ninja stars, which is one part. We also have half the part of the quantum ships, the easy part though, and then we can get some bits of deuterium as well. So it's a big step forward for, for this one. It is an absolutely massive build we've built here, and it's super well organized. I mean, look at this planet. This is just nice and crisp, and everything is built at ratio for what we need. And then it's a matter of only things we want to bring in at this location is just the raw materials, Iron, copper, silicon, those are the kind of things we want to bring in. Carbon nanotubes, maybe. But uh, but aside from this, then we'll build everything constrained here, neither exporting or importing things like processors or other plane filters when we get that, or Dyson Sphere components, or anything like that. Hope you uh, like this uh, dedicated build. I think it's going to be a very neat way and a much easier way for me to know that this one will always work as long as I have the raw materials in plenty of supply, then this one will always uh, keep working. And with that, we are going to wrap this episode up. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, there will always be some people for whom this is the first episode they watch or the first video they watch on my channel. Then uh, consider subscribing to catch up with more Dyson Sphere program and other building games and other games in general. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Take care and stay effective.